I'm out here at Waterfront Park in Trenton, New Jersey, speaking with Steve Sussdorf. Steve, you've had an excellent 2011 so far, batting 340 here, uh, six home runs, 30 RBI through 68 games with the R Phils. What can you tell me about your solid success here this season with the R Phils? Uh, you know, it's just been great. Uh, getting off a good start, you know, we got we got a great lineup here. Uh, makes it a lot easier to hit when you got guys like Rosati and Spy and uh, Mitchell in the lineup all around me. You know, there's always a chance to drive a runner in. Usually, got guys on base, so I definitely say it helps helps being a part of a great lineup here. So you speak uh, you speak of the teammates, you speak of the team, and you know our fields have been doing really well and they're contending for a wild card spot right now with this team you're meeting up with over the weekend, the Trenton Thunder. What's been the key uh, for the team's overall performance this year? Uh, you know, we, we started off the season really hot, swinging the bat well, playing defense, pitching well, and then kind of hit a rough spot. But uh, mostly just since uh, we hit that rough spot, you know, just getting the bats going again and and uh, and starting to produce offensively, that, that's definitely helped keep things moving in the right direction this year. I want to ask you a little bit more about yourself. If you were going to scout yourself, what could you tell me about Steve Susdorf's, uh, maybe what, some improvements, things you're working on, or maybe some... Uh, some of the, some of the down things about yourself. Uh, if you if you've got critiques of your own your own game, uh, you know, some that's helped me stay successful this year is just more the mental side of the game and and uh, just trying to stay positive with myself. I got a problem to be a perfectionist and, and beat myself up, and and that's something you can't really have uh, with baseball. So I would say that that's something that's helped me out this year. Now you're here with uh, with the Reading Phil's second spell with this team, and uh, this year. Got, got a new new manager with the squad, uh, Mark Parent, the new skipper of the team, uh, Frank Catch towards the hitting coach. What can you tell me about your coaches and, and just how, how they can help you improve? Uh, we got a great staff here. Uh, uh, Frank's been great um, with all the hitters. He's always out there working with us, and, and I've learned a lot from him this year uh, just about how to how to approach a, a pitcher correctly and, and kind of pick a plan and stick with that plan and not second-guess yourself. Uh, it's been great having Parent here, too. He's, he's a hard-nosed manager that always sticks up for his players and, and, and that's awesome to have. And then Bob's been great with the pitchers too. I don't work with him um, per se, but uh, he's, Bob's a great great uh, pitching coach and he's done a good job of pitchers too. Out here in this series, Reading has got a couple rehabbers coming through. Brad Liz is going to be pitching, uh, pitched the, uh, 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 with you guys twice this week already, and then Shane Victorino is set to join the team for a game or more. Uh, when you have major leaguers coming around the team, you know, do you guys get amped for that? Do you, you know, do you pick things up? Do you get to pick their brain, spend time with them at all? Yeah, you know, it's really exciting having all those guys come in. And the biggest thing I've noticed in my four years with the Phillies so far is all the Phillies have been great guys. You know, you you hear some big leaguers, you know, coming off as the typical big leaguer. You know, they think they think they're they're God's gift to earth. But all the Phillies here, they're all nice and very humble guys and, and it's great having them in town uh, picking their brains a little bit like you said uh, and trying to pick up things to get us to the next level. Got a few teammates that are uh, into the, the social media thing uh, joining Twitter and, and connecting with the fans. So Freddie, uh, JC's on there, Ellis is on there, maybe a couple other guys. Is that something you could ever get down with? Uh, you, you know, I, I, I try and stay off the whole Twitter thing. I, I feel like it, it gets you in a little more trouble than you need to be getting in. Uh, so. So I kind of stay out of there. Some guys, some guys like it though. You know, it's it's nice for fans to connect with players and, and get a chance to talk to them. I like to just kind of do my talking with them at the games and uh, and leave my personal life to myself. Sure. So you're more than happy to bond with people as long as it's face to face and uh, you know they're not you know stalking you online and things like that. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Now you're a California guy. I wanted to ask you, who were some ball players that you looked up to or maybe admired, wanted to be like as you grew up as a baseball fan in your youth? Um, you know, I was a big Ken Griffey Jr. fan growing up. Um, I loved, loved his swing. He had a real smooth swing. Since I've gotten older, though, and gotten to the Phillies, I, I really like watching Chase Utley hit, and I really like the way he goes about his business. We got a chance to play with him in Clearwater, and uh, he's just a humble dude and, and, and goes about hitting the right way, and, and it was really, really nice to uh, get a chance to play with him a couple games. Now, so I've talked to J.C. Ramirez about Chase a little bit before, and uh, very complimentary, the same as you. Uh, were you able to spend time at all chatting about the game with Chase? Yeah, you know, we talked about hitting a little bit, but the biggest thing that I really liked about him is, you know, when a big leader comes in town, sometimes they kind of do their own thing, sometimes don't stretch with the team, wear their pants down, stuff like that. But, I mean, when Chase came in town, he was just another, another guy on the team. I mean, we had base running one day, and that's something that no one wants to do, and he even 
did some base running with us. So that's the thing that I kind of really liked and, and kind of want to take take away from that experience with him too. If I ever get a chance to be in the big leagues and come down to the minor leagues to kind of hold myself that way and, and not, you know, just try and, try and fit in with the team that you're at. Last thing before I let you go, and thank you so much for taking the time here. Uh, you're out here this weekend. You're playing the Trenton Thunder. That's the Yankees affiliate. I mentioned earlier that you guys are battling with them for second place in the Eastern Division, trying to trying to battle it out for that wild card spot in a, in a, in a postseason appearance. Um, do you see this as, as a as a rivalry right now? And uh, does does the major league affiliation come into play at all? You know, when you're the Phillies and you guys want to take down those Yankees. Uh, you know, I don't know about the the major league affiliation, but yeah, there's always a rivalry when you're when you're in the hunt for trying to get into the playoffs. And, and right now we're in third, and, and they're in second. So yeah, no, there's always uh, always that rivalry there.